Hey everyone, Ganderman Pete here and welcome to a special unboxing video featuring our brand new Mark IV army, the Brineblood Marauders. Big thank you to Privateer for sending us an early sneak peek box. It's really exciting to get an advanced copy. Uh, if this is your first time checking us out, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. We're really excited to share these models with you. So let's dive right into it. Alright, so here's our nondescript black box. Big old BB on the back for Brine Blood. Open her up, pull out these three packages. So we've got our, our Brief Troll, which is our light. Uh, Mommy Boomhaller, also known as Admiral Boomhaller to uh, those of us in service. And uh, then our Deep Born Dire Troll. So our first weapon is the Hammerhead. Big old chain weapon, POW 17 Shark Flail. Uh, there are a couple scuff marks from it being in the, uh, in the packaging. Uh, but that's really just a loss of the, the shiny glare. Got a big old chunky torso. Now, one of the things I'm noticing right out of the box is that the connections compared to the duck's box are, are much tighter and much more snug. It's almost like a, a peg and socket system. Uh, really, you can just assemble them right on the table in front of you. It's been pretty, pretty satisfying to see them put together. Got our, our squid blaster coming out. Nice detail. You know, across all these pieces, you've got all these little barnacles and ropes and crabs just everywhere. It's very detailed. It's very cool. Uh, very much carrying that comedic torch that I uh, appreciate coming from stuff like gators and pharaoh. Now these, these back fins are pretty cool. These are the one part that doesn't sit absolutely tight. Um, there is a, a little give to it. Uh, but they're still they're still very high quality. I'm I'm really liking this new resin. You know, compared to the the dusk box, um, which was generally agreed that was a a big improvement being from that overseas production um, compared to the early Storm Legion and Kador things. Um, this seems to be you know yet another step up. Uh, very very shiny, very very well constructed. Um, it's even got a little bit of, of give. You can see later on in the video, give a little flex to some of the pieces. And, uh, you know, they all passed the drop test. We, <laughs> we were a little little worried, but we dropped them from a couple feet up right on the table, and uh, no no shattering, no nothing. Not a single piece came, uh, came snapped in the box either. So very, very happy with uh, this new material that they've been building in-house. Now here are our three heads. Got our Deep Dweller, our Bellower, and our Arcane Taker's head. Very easy to see what the Deep Dweller is, as well as tentacles on the others. The, uh, the Bellower's got some bigger teeth, and then the Cantankerous on the left. That, that big old wide open mouth. Our Anchor Weapon, very reminiscent of the, uh, the Sea King Gargantuan that I'm such a big fan of. Bringing back that, that From the Depth vibe. And it can all, it can all slot right in. Basically building an entire war beast right in front of me. No glue, no magnets, just just putting him together, seeing him in all his glory. Very satisfying to to be able to put together a full piece in front of me without any tools. And there he is, Deepborn Dire Troll. Alright, next up, here's our reef troll. This guy's big, he's smelly, he's probably cooking your lunch, and uh, when boarding time comes, he's ready to roll. So again, nice peg system here. Pretty easy to put him put him right together. A couple scuff marks, but again, that's just it losing some of its shine. There's no actual structural damage under those little scuffs. Really can't see any of the print marks unless you get very, very close. Got our deck cannon. Slots right in. Really, really tight connection there. Lots of nice detail. Nets, coins, barnacles. Now, if there is one piece I was disappointed in, the uh, the shield here is a little dusty on the inside, uh, but nothing a little, little cleaning up won't fix. Got our harpoon and our boarding axe. You know, if these are the pieces that you'd be worried about coming coming snapped, and uh, they they held up for sure. And they've got that. They've got that flex. They've, they're pretty sturdy. And then our 
cutlass. Again, nice detail, lots of barnacles, some spikes on the front of that guard. Really satisfying weapon. Alright, then we got our three heads. Left to right, we've got our gunner, our skipper, and our matey heads. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool system on these. You know, one adds some armor and some mat, one adds some rat, uh, one adds shield guard. You know, they're all, they're all very useful. They all have a use case. They all have really cool detail, cool hats, cool expressions. And, uh, that's our reef troll. My phone, he'd stand up for me. <laughs> And then our warlock, here she is, Mommy Boomhaller. Now this is the one piece that you can see a couple supports uh, still on her, um, but she does have a lot of detail, a lot of recesses, uh, and the, they're pretty easy to remove, they come right off. Now I, I'm a big fan of this cloak, you can see she's just kind of wearing a full jacket like a cloak, sleeve sticking out, really cool sword. And uh, I'm obsessed with her boots. These they came out really clean, really crisp. I'm uh, very excited to, to paint this up and get it on the table as soon as possible. And there it is. That's our Brian Bullet Battle Group. Reef Troll, Deepborn Dire Troll, and Admiral Boomheller. Alright, well that's it for now. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. Another big thank you to Privateer Press for sending us this uh, preview copy of the Brian Bullet Battle Group. Very exciting to uh, see the new resin, see this new peg system, and uh, get a, a little sneak peek of uh, what we can expect going forward with this new Mark IV army. And uh, to all my captain friends out there, your bird isn't seasick, he's just happy to see you. <laughs>